Hello, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. So today, I got a brand new palette in. Came in last night and I sort of kind of played with it a little bit, like swatching wise, and oh my goodness. It, it's amazing. But you'll see, you'll see. So first let's, let me get, let me pull up the details here because I actually forgot what I did pay for it. I know it was relatively affordable, but I did forget what I paid for it. Hold on, let me, I do apologize. Here we go. Okay, so what I had purchased was the Juvia's Place New Culture Eyeshadow Palette. This here. And two of the Duochrome Liquid Eyeshadows. In, yeah, we're not even going to pronounce those. In, in Cara and Afrochella. I know I messed that up. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And and then the the palettes, the Culture Eyeshadow Palette. These were fifteen dollars each, and the palettes thirty six. I did not try the Duo Chrome yet, and I'm excited for them. But that's that was just me playing. You know, I just want to test them. Um, I don't really wear that sort of stuff that often. But the eyeshadow palette. Oh, it grabbed my attention. It is just, okay, it has no mirror, so I will say that, but look at these shades. I mean, just look at them. Mm. So what we'll be working with today is this purple row right here. I was going to go for the pinks, but I've been doing a lot of pink looks, and, and pink's just my comfort zone, but I wanted to kind of step out a little bit, you know. So we are going to play with the purples, and I did play with the pinks yesterday, and it was good, it was good, but I'm really excited to play with these. And like I said, for $36, so you get one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. 30. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't been in math school for a while, you know. So, yeah. Six times five. Yeah. Okay. 30. 30 shadows. So, I mean, I don't know. I have played with Juvia's Place palettes before. And I liked them. It's not that I didn't like them. And some of them I even really, really liked. But it wasn't like a I love it was it was a very high like really really like you know what I mean but this one this one caught my attention all right now and I do appreciate it. it's called culture and like with behind it and all however I have no culture I'm not even gonna pretend like I do these names yeah I'm not gonna know them I'm gonna be straight up so I will try I do apologize ahead of time because I know I am going to slaughter trying to say these. But I am working out of the purple row. So the first shade I'm going to go into is Ekawas. Ekawas. I don't know. I'm not very, I'm not even good with the English language. So, you know, my pronunciations aren't that great. And I'm just going to start that as my, you know, beginning shade, I guess. I generally don't go in this dark usually, but I found this shade blends out nicely into a lighter, like it builds nicely. It blends and builds nicely. So like I can have a, a sheer wash of purple or I can build it up. And I do like that about this palette with all these shades. Well, not all of them. Some of them are just downright pigmented. It is what it is, but you know. So, how's everybody doing? I am doing okay. 
I've been struggling with the self-love, no doubt. And the self-worth and all that. But I am working on it. So I feel that it is a step in the right direction. You know what I mean? And for me, that that's a plus, you know? Because like I said, I... I don't know when it began or why, but at this point in my life, I just don't even, like, I want to know so that I can be corrected, obviously, but at the same time, it's like, I don't care when or why. I don't. I just want to fix me. And I know that everybody has self-doubt. I get that, but... I find it more and more, each day I have more and more, you know? So, I am slowly working on it though. Oh, for brushes, I'm using mm, Sigma. I was gonna say I'm using mostly Sigma, but now I'm using all my Sigma. I washed all of my brushes. Like, I have been really productive on trying to get things organized, work through stuff, of course stuff somehow gets bought. I don't know how it gets bought, but somehow stuff does get bought and somehow it ends up in my hands for me to have more stuff, <laughs> so to say. So I'm gonna take that same shade and run it under the lower lash line. I will say I was watching this palette and I'm gonna tell you all these shadows are unreal and it almost like I was sitting there playing with it and I almost got out my old dubious place palettes because I'm like did I miss something like was I just really really bad at makeup when I played with them because I'm not that great now but I maybe I just didn't know like formula wise or something you're know, like I don't remember it being this this great and honestly for affordable makeup kind of like it a lot I'm trying to, I was sitting here thinking of, like, the affordable makeup I have that I do like. And I was trying to think, like, what would be my favorite? And, of course, I love ColourPop. But, at the same time, it's a love-hate because sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. But more importantly, they just launched so much. And I do like BH Cosmetics formula. But I'm thinking Juvia's Place may be up there with color pop, y'all. I'm just saying, it, it may be up there. I'm like not calling it completely, but it's coming really close, let me tell you. And, like, I just had a lot of fun using this palette. And I'm sure I have color stories like this somewhere. I mean, you would have to assume I do in my collection. Where, I don't know, but, you know, in, in something, I'm sure I have some of the similar shades anyway. But, like, the way they put this together, oh, I'm now going to go into Edo, E-D-O. Um, the way they put this together, though, it makes it just, like, feel so user-friendly. 
even for beginners. Like, it just, I don't know, there's just something about this. It calls me. <laughs> and I don't know why, but it does. It really, really does. And like I, and like I said, like, I like having fun with my makeup. It's not perfect. It never is. It's never going to be as far as I can, you know, say. Uh, I mean, I'm not, you know, pretending like it, it is. I'm, I'm not, I guess I'm not even trying to make it perfect, you know. In all reality, all I'm trying to do is find makeup that I generally like to play with. And that brings me happiness. And is, you know, like, beginner friendly. Will look good in the end. You know, that type of thing. And for some reason, this palette just did it for me big time. And I'm so glad. Because at first, I wasn't going to get the palette. Like, it was beautiful. Can't deny that. Won't deny it. But it scared me. Because I am not a colorful person. To that extent. I mean, I like a little bit of color here and there. But this palette makes me want to play with color. The only problem is, is that I love to match my outfits to my eye looks. So I find that it's going to be, I'm going to have to buy some outfits. Because I just don't have any, um, like, shirts to go with some of these colors. So I do feel like I may have to buy some outfits. I think it's only fair too, you know? That way I can really show all the shades and how they work and from a beginner's point of view that is. And how they work on older, you know, aging eyes. Like, I'm 42, 43, 42, 43. I don't know how old I am. I don't want to know. Old enough, that's for sure. But I got hooded eyes, wrinkly eyes, like, tired eyes. So, I need stuff that's going to work with me, you know? And I really, like, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but man, does this palette really do that for me. Then I'm going to take that same purple color and I'm going to run it along the darker color that I was just using. I'm going to run it along the lower lash line. first shade
Like, and from my understanding, purples are hard to formulate to and work with. Like, I'm really not having that any issues. That's the other thing I noticed, too, right off the bat. Uh, like, I just didn't have that many issues out of it. And that's why a part of me was kind of scared to even play with the purples today. Because I was like, man, if there's issues, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. But, so far, so good. Alright, then for the outer lid, I'm going to go into the shade Boro New. Boro New. I know I'm not saying these right. I feel so bad because I'm not saying these right too. And I'm going to put that on the outer part of my lid. And I just, I'm not wetting my brush. I did have a little bit of fallout due to me not wetting it. However, if you do wet it, you will not get fallout. But do you see that color? I mean, it's almost shifty in a sense. To the shade Wolf Wolf Is that the shade I'm going to do? No to get Tanga. Or did I? Mm -mm. I didn't go into that. I went into Katanga. Sorry, guys. I was like, what shade did I go into there? I'm losing track of what I was doing. I, all these shades are just so pretty, though. Katanga. Yeah, I think I'm saying that right. And I'm going to pat that on the, this part of my lid, inner part, and work it over to, yeah, that's the shade I used. And again, I didn't wet it. And I'm, I'm sure if I did, man, would these be like liquid metal. Because they are stunning. I mean, look at it. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I'm not a makeup artist, obviously. But playing in this palette and the eye look that I came up with, like, it made me feel pretty. And almost proud in a sense because, like, I figured out a look. Because usually I can sit there and just stare at palettes and be like, I have no idea what to do. I have no idea what, what color story to go with. I have no idea anything and it sort of just like all came together in a sense looking at the palette like as I was just sitting there and for someone like me that's 
that's not a makeup artist that don't really know what they're doing like that's a that I feel good about that and like I said you will have fallout if you don't wet your shadows it just it's the name of the game I suppose And again, I'm not a good blender, I guess you could say, either. Like, I do the best that I can. So, obviously, if something doesn't look right, that's on me, not the shadow. But, I mean, I think I did okay, personally. Then I'm going to go into the shade Efik, E-F-I-K, E-F-I-K. This is my favorite shade, y'all. It just is. This one here is my favorite. I don't know if you can see this. And I hope it shows. But this one is my absolute favorite, favorite shade. I do have a couple favorites, but This bottom lash line doesn't look quite like that one for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. It's like I can't build it up or something. I don't know. Maybe there I got it. I did go over that shade quite a few times so that could be it too. Like back and forth, back and forth, because I wanted this to peek out, but yet I wanted that darker shade there too. Okay. Alright, I think both eyes look pretty much the same. So that's all I did as far as the palette. And then I just curled my lashes. And I did use a new mascara. It's the Lash Clash by YSL. It's just a sample. But I wanted to give it a whirl today. And again, if you wore false lashes with any look you create out of this palette, oh lord. Like, you are going to rock it. because I'm telling you this palette is going to create some amazing looks. I've already seen quite a few looks people have done and I'm just like wow I wish I could do that you know. But I can't. But that's okay. Because I feel like this look is amazing in its own way. And it works for me, you know? So, that's all that matters. I'm proud of it. I hope it showed you how the shadows performed and what some of them look like.
and what some of them can do. And at that price point, it's unreal to me. I don't know if I like this mascara yet either. I'm just using it today, so I'll have to play with it some more, but I'm on the fence. Okay. And then for bottom lashes, I use my Lancome. It's on days like this, I wish I could do false lashes. There's not many days that I wish I could, but like when I do a look like really pretty and stuff like this. I just feel like the false lashes would just like bring it home. the final look using the culture palette again I'll use the duo chromes another time the liquid ones I didn't really want to use them I just want to stick with the palette just in case you know you didn't get those but you wanted the palette but I mean they do look very 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 pretty these these do so we shall see we shall see um I'll probably just use them at you know at a later time uh, I don't have very many of them, to be honest with you. I have the Natasha Denona ones. Really, that's it. So, I don't use them very often. That's why I don't have that many. But again, this is the culture palette. This is what the front looks like. And then the inside. Again, it's just a beautiful color story and you can do so many looks with this palette I mean you can even do like just just a regular neutral look even like it's unreal you just I didn't I don't see things like that until I actually have them though you know what I mean but this is the look that I created again I'm not a makeup artist so be nice be nice um, I'm learning I'm in the process my blending is not the best obviously so and I'm very impatient when it comes to that also. But I think that it blended nicely. I think it, it built up nicely. I think that... I, I just think it's a nice palette. So let me know down in the comments what you think. You got to see it. Do you think it performed well? Not counting my skills. Just do you think it performed well? Did you get it? Are you thinking about getting it? Do you like the color story? I mean, let me know all this down in the comments. And let me know if you're still in, if you're doing the journey on self-love. Because I, I hope you are, and I hope you're doing good on it. And everything is going well. And you're happy. I, I hope all of that. And I am continuing mine, and I hope you continue you know, to watch me as I go with mine, my journey to self-love, and I hope I get there. That way, maybe I can finally be happy with just myself. You know what I mean? It'd be so nice. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all, that way you're notified when I do upload, and I will see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, bye.